All right, for those of you who are celebrating today in the United States, Happy Thanksgiving! And for those of you who are not celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you're having a great day. Okay, now I've had a number of requests for this. I'm looking at Jolie OS 1.2. This is cloud-based computing today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, we're looking at Jolie OS today, and this is cloud computing. Kind of surprised me, though, because this was almost 700 megs for a download for the live CD, and I'm running this in live mode right now. Now, the best way I can describe cloud computing is I used to be an alpha tester for Skyfire, and Skyfire was an application it, well, it still is an application that allows you to use uh, computer-assisted browsing on your mobile device. But in the early stages when I was testing this on my Windows mobile device, I uh, was able to view Flash web pages and websites much the same as I do on my home computer. And basically what you were doing was you were just web browsing in the cloud or basically another server was doing the surfing for you and then it was transmitting the data back to your mobile device and uh, I'm happy to have my Android now this thing never requires a reboot and this thing used to crash three or four times a day so <laughs> Windows Mobile versus uh, Android uh, I'll take the Android even though this is a cool looking phone though but um, I wish I could get uh, an Android running on this thing. That would be kind of cool. But at any rate, uh, let's get off of mobile devices here. So at any rate, I'm assuming that's what cloud computing is, where you're using computer-assisted, uh, you know, you're using uh, another computer to assist your computer that you're running now. Uh, this is especially handy for old computers and that sort of thing. Okay, so now, you have a number of choices uh, that you're already presented with. This is this page you get once you sign in using your Facebook account or you just log in after creating an account. I logged in with my Facebook account. Um, I don't have any intention of using this at any great length so I didn't feel the need to sign up for an account. This is your front page here. You get a browser, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Flickr, YouTube, Google Docs. You have access to the New York Times. Uh, I would be removing this and switching over to the BBC. BBC is the most trusted uh, news network worldwide, in my humble opinion. I like that one the best. Uh, Space Invaders, Canvas Rider, um, News Map, Cannabalt. I'm assuming that's another game. You get the Wikipedia and Google Voice. And then if you click this little button down here, you got even more goodies. So, lots of really cool stuff here, and, ooh, YouTube Edu, hmm, educational YouTube, I'm assuming. Maybe that's what we need to start putting in my videos. <laughs> okay, all right, now, in addition to this, if you press the plus button here, now you can even add more applications to this. Now, it is my understanding that if you have this installed on your hard drive, it may uh, install these items locally. And there are a number of categories here that you can choose from. Let's select graphics and see what comes up here. Okay, and you can see here that we have a ton of graphics applications, six pages of them in actuality, that you can actually play with. So you even have a uh, 3D pixel art creator. Pretty neat. Wow. 
So this may be something that I might just want to install on the virtual machine just to play with some of these applications and see what they can do. Looks like a lot of really cool programs you can get on this. Very nice. Okay, moving right along. If we click the uh, radar dish here, you can see some activities that your friends and that sort of thing have been doing. Much like on Facebook, um, you can connect with your friends. You can see what kind of applications they have installed. That way you can give them a try yourself. Uh, if you're following anybody, it will be listed here. Right now, we're just following Jolly Cloud, but I'm sure that um, if I were to decide to keep this and continue using it, I would amass a list of friends and I would be able to follow them. You know, much like you'd follow people on Twitter. Okay, and of course, nobody loves me, nobody's following me here. That's okay. And then you have your top members and um, okay, looks like uh, happy user of Jolly Cloud co-founders. Okay, so these are all people that are um, really doing a lot of stuff with this. Cool beans. Okay, and then you have a public page. And there isn't very much on my public page and <laughs> just something that's been quickly generated for this demonstration I suppose you can even view your documents online you can link to your Google Docs here okay um, let's go into the device it shows you how much space that you've got used up with your applications and you can keep track of all your applications and programs that you have loaded on this and files within here now I'm assuming this is all stored on another server so you'll have access to all of your files if you access Jolly Cloud from any computer anywhere which is kind of neat the only thing the only thing that I tend to question is is privacy um, and that's something I haven't had a chance to really look into at this point. I'm not going to worry about that right now because I'm not really using that this much. But that's something you may wish to research if you're going to consider using a cloud-based operating system, whether, you know, what, what kind of privacy that you may uh, have. Okay, and then uh, we have some settings here that we can go into. Now, there really isn't much I can change right now because I don't have this installed on my hard drive. I'm just running the live CD just for testing purposes. All in all, this looks like something that would be really good for people to use. Uh, if you have a slow computer and you want to access some of the latest and greatest apps today and your computer just doesn't have the muscle for it, well then try Jolie OS because you'll be able to... Um, you'll be able to do all the uh, nice things that you know us people with the faster computers well I don't really have a fast computer but you know you'll be able to um, you'll be able to use a uh, 500 megahertz machine and still be able to access applications that um, those of us with the faster processors can uh, access if you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Please visit my blog and shout me a coffee. I need more coffee to keep me uh, <laughs> all hyped up here. Uh, for those of you who are celebrating Thanksgiving today, I would like to wish you and your family a happy Thanksgiving, and I wish everyone the best. Thanks for watching.